Welcome to another tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make this really cool map animation. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. The first thing you're going to want to do is to search Google for a map and a plain image. Now for the map I recommend a really high resolution file so that you can actually zoom in. It will make things a lot easier and clearer. And for the plane I recommend a PNG image as that will support a transparent background. Next you're going to want to load your map into your image editing program and draw a dotted line. You can use Photoshop for this to easily create a dotted line or in my case I'm using GIMP as it's free and open source. So in GIMP we simply select the pen tool and then we draw any path that we want. We then go to edit and we go to stroke path And then we can select whatever line we want. We can do custom or one of the presets. Let's try that stroke. And click stroke. And now we should see the results. I've now opened up the map in Resolve. You can see on the left I've got a version with the line. And on the right I've got a version without the line. You need the two versions. Now you drag the one without the line onto the track below the one with the line. We're now going to go to the colour panel and draw a mask which will gradually reveal the line over time and give that animated look. In the colour panel you want to go to the power window option and then you want to select curve. Now you want to draw something that's quite wide so that as we go on you don't cut off any of your line. You'll see what I mean as we go forward. Now you need to make sure that your keyframe is enabled and Tab with the keys forward an equal number of spaces and drag your mask down in equal increments. You can see here I'm doing one dash at a time. If you can do it in slow, small steps, it makes for a much smoother animated look. Now that you get the idea, I'm going to press on forward. We've now finished the mask, however we won't be able to see what we've done unless we add an alpha output. So we go to the nodes tab and we drag the triangle onto the blue on the right. If there's nothing showing on the right, if you right click and you select add alpha output, then you'll be able to connect it. Let's preview what we've done. You can see we've got a nice smooth animation going across the map. We now need to make the plane follow the line. I've dragged an image of the plane onto the top track and I've rendered the line animation as a compound clip. So first of all we'll line up the plane with the line. We'll then go back in time and we'll set our keyframes for position and for rotation. And like before with the mask we're going to do it in small increments. So we go forward a little bit and then we set the position of the plane. 
try and do it evenly every time for smooth animation. Again, we go forward a little way. And then we move the position of the plane. We see that there's a bit of rotation now called for. And we make sure the tail lines up with the red dots. Again, more rotation is going to be needed now. But first of all, we'll do the position. And then do the rotation. And you can see the plane is following the line. I'm now going to press ahead and do the rest of the animation. You can see now we've got all our keyframes in place and the plane follows the line. We could pretty much stop there and call that done, but I'd like to add a little zoom to the animation as I think it would make it more interesting. Luckily for us, Resolve has a really nice dynamic zoom feature. So we just select dynamic zoom in the inspector and we go to the box at the bottom of the monitor and select dynamic zoom. We now see the green box. We simply resize that box and place it where we want the animation to end. That's where the plane is landing. Let's have a look at that result. Oh, and it's done it the wrong way round. Not to worry, we simply go to the dynamic zoom and click swap. Now we can see everything works fine. That completes the tutorial. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel.